Hello everyone, this is Diogo from Protein Gaming and today we have some good updates about the Shed PS4 emulator starting with this Add Controller Remapping GUI Basically, before, if you wanted to bind your keys to different keys if you wanted your X key to be square, for example you need to go to the emulator and use this really bare bones way of editing the bindings but now, yeah, as you can see, it was merged some hours ago, this change, where you can actually see a GUI and change whatever you want through this, making it much easier to change the values to your liking. So for example, if I go to the updated version, which I have right here, just going to open this, and if I select this option right here, click on it, as you can see, we have the controller without the Sony logo here, because of copyright reasons. But yeah, it's so simple to change your bindings to whatever you want. If you want your triangle key to be L1 or square, or if you want your square to be a cross, whatever, you have all of the options here. You have some interesting options as well, like the dead zone here. You can actually change this if your controller has um, problems where the analog stick moves by its own, like uh, analog stick drift, you can come here and adjust the dead zone so you may increase the value until the controller no longer works by itself basically. So give this a try and let me know. Also uh, some good things about this is that actually you can come here and you have the option to do a common config where you can change the values or the bindings for all of the games but then you can also select each game specifically. For example, this one is 03173. I know it's Bloodborne, so if I want to only change the bindings for Bloodborne, I can just come here, click on it, and then just change whatever I want. And use my per game configs. And yeah, and if I want to reset everything back to how it was before, I just come here and restore defaults. And if you still want to change, for example, the keyboard and mouse bindings, if you are playing on keyboard and mouse, you can also come here, just click on here, and you'll still have to deal with this, well, pretty bare bones UI, but still, some really nice progress in terms of bindings to your controller. So, nice update in regards to this. And now, also, there was another very useful update. As you can see, you actually have now some more options regarding the background image of the game that you are selecting. You can show background image or you can uh, hide it, you can change the opacity. It's just as simple as coming here. If I select Bloodborne, it shows like this. But if I go to the settings and go to GUI, I can actually come here and let me put this opacity at max. And then the, the image will just show it like this. And then I have also other options, like I can disable it entirely and I can also disable this option. And now, no background image is showing. So, yeah, if you check this, it has some really good updates. And uh, if you want to be up to date with all the new Shed PS4 releases, just subscribe and like the video. So, see you later. Bye.